Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Windows 11 23H2 Patch Tuesday security update that's now rolling out. And for this month, 23H2 gets KB5053602. And because the update is compulsory and mandatory, unless you pause the update for a couple of days, the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.5039. Now, first and foremost, the Patch Tuesday updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month are security updates. So just a quick overview um, as to what's happening security-wise with this update. There are four security vulnerabilities that have been patched with this latest update. And thankfully, there are no critical vulnerabilities for 23H2 that need to be addressed. So... Quite a minor update when it comes to security issues for 23H2. Just four security issues have been addressed in total, no critical. Now, as always, the security updates include improvements that were part of the previous update, um, which would be the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of last month. And for 23H2, that is KB5052094. And once again, I did post on that update, and I'll leave that video link down below in the end screen if you'd like a lot more in-depth information. But just a quick overview for the purpose of this video, because those improvements now and fixes will be carried over into this update if you didn't install that optional update that rolled out late last month. Now, just a quick side note, these changes and improvements are rolling out gradually according to Microsoft, so you may see some of these, you may not. So just uh, keep that in mind. Now, first of all, the update allows you to share files directly from a jump list on the taskbar, which I think if you are sharing a lot of files is a nice improvement. And um, it does include two new Spotlight desktop improvements. It does make it easier to learn more about the image on your lock screen. It includes new functions for narrator scan mode. It adds a new referral card for a PC Game Pass subscription on the settings homepage in your settings. Obviously, if you are um, signed up for a Game Pass subscription, you can now snooze or turn off the, the start backup reminder in the File Explorer address bar. Now, just take note though, if you just head into our File Explorer and start backup, if you right click, you will have options now to turn that off or snooze it, but just take note that that option is only available with this update if you are not using OneDrive. I am using OneDrive, that's why I'm not seeing the option to turn off Start Backup, so just take note of that. It also includes three File Explorer fixes. It fixes a DWM bug, which is the Desktop Windows Manager, which is responsible for things like uh, thumbnail previews, just to mention one example, that's quite an important fix. Fixes an open SSD known issue, that's another important fix, and a lot more. Go check the video out for more info, I've just skimmed over some of the highlights, just to reference it into this video, just to make you aware if you would be interested. And that's it guys, that's more or less what's new with our, late, with our latest Patch Tuesday cumulative update for Windows 11 23H2. KB5053602. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.